What's up, y'all? So I know the Buffalo shooting happened like about a week ago. I'm late. I seen it on the news, but I, you know, I blocked it out. A lot of that stuff be like kind of distractions. Me trying to, you know, live a certain type of way. But I read about it today, and I was like really, really sad. Like man, I mean, and I seen some of the footage, and it's like the fact that an 18 year old would drive two hours away to go do a crime like this in a neighborhood that doesn't. If you're not even from that neighborhood, why would it's in that neighborhood even bother you? Like I mean, the fact that it's people that think like that make you scared. Like I mean, you could be thinking normally. And go somewhere like a movie theater, something might just kill you for nothing, man. So make you feel like real unsafe, man. Like, and it's, 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 it's sad, sad that a few people can mess it up for everybody, man. But the thing that he didn't put into his like his, his, uh, his end results is that you go to prison in New York where it's black, all black inmates. Like you're gonna be surrounded by black inmates with that crime you done. I mean, because I see when he went to court, they had him like in a, uh, a like a, a towel type of thing. That's that's when you on suicide watch. You know, everybody that been to prison knows suicide watches. That means you, your light don't go off in your cell, you handcuffed in your cell, you know sheets in your cell. So he's living his worst life right now. So I hope it means it was worth it for him. But what he did was diabolical and it split a lot of people. I mean, because you know, one act can mess up for relations for, for people that's in the whole United States. I mean, from one butthead, you know what I mean? But he had to get that rhetoric and that thought process from somewhere, you know what I mean? And it's just sad that there's a lot of people that's in America still think like that. Hate you by how you look. Hate you because of the color you are. Hate you because we've, to me, that's just sad. I mean, to hold on to that, thinking like, even after all this time, I mean, because I mean, I, I can't imagine an 18 year old just picking it up out of nowhere. I don't even care if he was mentally unstable or not. A lot of black people are no, mentally unstable. They, you don't hear about them, you want to go shoot up no place where, you know what I mean, to just kill somebody just because they're white, man. I mean, because at the end of the day, if somebody did that, we probably, we would just be like, yo, what's up with you, dog? Like, you killing people that, the individuals, you don't know who they are. I mean, like you, you, can, you can come kill and shoot up a whole bunch of black people. You know who you actually you killed though. You just killed. You could have killed future people that could have helped solve a, 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 a question that help humanity in, as a whole. You never know who you killed, man. So it's unfortunate, man, and it's sad, man. Hopefully, man, you know stuff get better than get worse. You know I mean, like y'all, you can be on. Let me back, peace.